Bloomies are forever. Hi everyone, I'm Melissa and today I am shipping. I only have seven items that sold from Friday evening through this morning, Sunday morning, and that's because I only listed two items this week and both of those were from bed. My mom and sister are visiting so we've been a little bit more active than I normally am and so eBay has just gone by the wayside, which is no big deal. I'll pick it back up when I'm feeling better and have some more time. So I'm gonna open up eBay. And if you've never been here for my shipping video, basically all I do is walk you through how I ship. Now you won't be able to see my screen, so this is just kind of my thought press process, thought process as I print. So the first thing I sold was an April corn, well, corn, Cornell, April Cornell dress. I remember visiting April Cornell stores in the late 90s. I think I was in college and my mom and dad took my family on vacation in Vermont, which is something we would do growing up often. And I went to one of their stores. I don't know that they still have stores, they might. But this had a pretty decent size flaw on it and it kind of fit weird. <laughs> so this did sell for $6.54 and I'm so glad to have it gone. I've had this for, I'm going to say possibly six months to a year. So I still have my gorgeous tissue paper. I'm going to be so sad when it runs out, but I did buy 250 sheets of it. I think I should put you down a little. Let's see. There, that's better. So this package is shipping to Layla and Layla is in North Carolina and she paid $5 for shipping. So this is gonna ship first class mail. And I have my business card and my shirt today also reads, you are enough. And I ordered it from Vistaprint. I think I paid about $6. It's, it's quite big. <laughs> I like bigger shirts, so it's no big deal. But I think the last shirt I bought was a medium and it, it fits, but it's just, you know, like regular fitting shirt. So this time I decided to get an extra large and it's, it's very comfortable. I like it very much. I had to move while doing shipping. I'm good to go. So they are going to get a, I, my mom and sister and I went to the binge yesterday and there will be a haul coming shortly. We have yet to film it. And one of the items we picked up were Monopoly pieces from a 1960s board game. The board games don't sell very well unless you get a really early one, but it was the end of the day. Oh my goodness, there was hardly anything at the bins. So we were really searching to try to find something. We were really trying to find stuff at the end of the day. And my mom came across the board game and I said, and not all the pieces were there, please know that. And I was like, just take, take the cards. So I don't even know if I got charged for them. If so, I'm sure they weren't more than a quarter. So I have my 10 by 13 poly mailers, which I'll show you. Maybe I will. There we go. So these are my 10 by 13 poly mailers. They work great for first class mail, which is anything up to 15.9 ounces. So basically anything under a pound ships first class mail. First class mail does have tracking. It still emails the buyer the tracking number. You don't have to do anything. It is 11.5 ounces, so I'm rounding up to 12. I always round up. And the buyer paid $5 for shipping, and my cost was $3.82. Now, if Layla would take this to the post office, 
this would be $5.15, but eBay offers a shipping discount, and so that's why my price is discounted, about $1.33, which is pretty great. So I'm going to purchase the postage, and I'm using my Dymo Label Writer 450 Turbo, which I highly suggest. I know Amazon raises the prices, lower the prices based on kind of how hot the item is. So I normally pay about 50-ish dollars for it, but I've seen them gone, going as high as $80. You can also get, find a used one on eBay, I'm sure. So it prints the label I use. 99019 labels. So if you're looking for the labels for eBay, all you have to type into eBay is Dymo 99019 and I use a company called House Labels. They're much cheaper than actual Dymo labels, but they still work perfectly. Thanks so much, Layla. Next package. This I just listed. It's not a huge money maker. The brand, it works. And I didn't even realize this brand was still going strong. I used to know somebody who sold this, but I don't know that they still do. Um, so it's, I, I don't even know what to call these. They were like, you know when you get a check, not a check, a receipt. You know when you get a receipt at a restaurant and you have to put your credit card in and like it opens up and this is what this looks like, but does it work Do credit cards? I don't know, so weird. were bin fine. My husband and I went to the bins, I'm going to say about two weeks ago. And so this probably sold within a week and I received $5.88 for them, which isn't huge. I readily admit that, but I probably didn't pay more than 25 cents each, maybe. My bin isn't by weight for hard goods. They got, <laughs> there's really no rhyme or reason. They just kind of look at your stuff and some cashiers charge more than others, and I have been there and have heard the secret to like wait for certain cashiers, um, which I absolutely have done before, because if you get the right cashier, she's charging a lot less. So basically, if you just like take up a lot of stuff, I said there's foul. If you take up a lot of stuff, there's sometimes just like, oh, 25 cents for this group of stuff, a dollar for that group of stuff. And some people like count how many things, like one, two, three, if it's hard goods, and then do a quarter a piece. It's just so, so funny. Okay, so I probably paid maybe 50 cents. I don't know that I did. So Tammy lives in Florida, and she lives about an hour from me. I know where Tammy lives, that's so funny. Okay, so she paid $5.88 and Tammy paid $3.50 for shipping. I'm going to package this in the same mailer, 10 by 13. It makes for such pretty packaging. I know it's not like a perfect match, but it's still so summery. I've ordered my Christmas, um, poly mailers and I'm really excited about them. And yes, I do switch poly mailers usually for the month of December. They're not Christmas themed, they're just kind of like seasonal. So 13.7 ounces and I round up to 14. And I am sending this first class mail. I don't think this would have qualified for media mail, which is usually like books and certain CDs and DVDs and teaching materials. So I did do first class mail. I am gonna take a hit in shipping, which I'm just realizing, not a huge deal. Um, so she paid $3.50 and this is 14 ounces. So my cost is $4.38. Sometimes I lose a little bit, sometimes I make a little bit. I'm trying not to lose too much anymore. I'm trying, but um, yeah, no big deal. 
So my Dynamo should print. And if you ever want to buy a Dymo, the 4XL, which is like advertised all over Instagram, is awesome. And if you sell on Poshmark or Amazon, you need the 4XL. But the 450 Turbo works great for eBay, and it's a lot cheaper. And, and I'd highly recommend that one. Thanks so much, Tammy. Next up, what are we going to do next? I'm going to do a package of shoes. Now I will have shoes coming up that I haven't wrapped yet, but I have wrapped these. I keep most of my items stored in these plastic bags in tubs. It just makes it easier for me. And then I kind of just like jot down. This is actually a Dymo label that I just kind of like cut or ripped and I just put what the item is. So when I'm going through my tubs, I have a tub that says like dresses or shoes or tops extra small through small. That way I'll know what's inside it and it makes it so much easier uh, during the shipping time. These are Riker shoes. These are Riker shoes, and I picked them up for me, and I paid $3, and I did wear them a few times, and they fit great, and they're like anti-stress shoes, anti-stress shoes. Um, <laughs> this is my own little pet peeve. All of my closet has been based on black for, I can't even tell you how many years, so many years. I only have one purse. It's a black purse. I only usually buy certain colors of clothing, which are blue and green and black and gray and white. I have these white t-shirts. I don't think I have anything else white, but maybe I do. Um, and so the brown shoes, oh, I really needed a pair of closed toed shoes when I bought them. And since then I have found something else that works better and they're black. So this is the only pair of brown shoes I've had and I was like, Nothing really matches them, but they filled a place in my wardrobe for a little bit. So I cleaned them up. I sold them for $12.54 to Jennifer in Wyoming, and she paid $7.20 to ship them. So because they are already packaged in tissue paper and separated, and I probably put bubble wrap like inside the shoe or tissue paper inside the shoe to keep the shape. I feel comfortable with putting it in a padded mailer. I don't always do that for shoes, but these are sandals. They're not like high heel thousand dollar shoes. Um, and so I'm just gonna ship it in, ship it, slip it. I'm going to slip it into this flat rate envelope. You can find these on the USPS website. Shipping supplies are free, which is awesome. And you can't find these at the post office. So never run out of them ever. Because anything that slips in these, anything that fits is $6.90. So if you were shipping two bricks, I don't know why you ship two bricks, but you could probably fit two bricks in this. It would ship for $6.90. And there's no reason to weigh this. So I'm gonna put this in. I just have to choose padded flat rate envelope and eBay calculates it for me and Jennifer paid $7.20 and I pay $6.90. Such a good deal. I keep an extra box in my attic. <laughs> I've run out of them a time or two before because close to the holidays, usually within like a week or so, you get your supplies once you order them from the USPS.com website. But around the holidays, sometimes it takes weeks. And I just didn't order them soon enough. Maybe last year, I don't remember. But always good to have more. Thank you so much, Jennifer. Next is a pair of shoes. And these are Birkenstocks. These were my own Birkenstocks, and you'll see why I sold them here in a second. 
because they are also beige and I didn't eat them. I found other Birkenstocks in black. I have them in blue. I have them in aqua and I have them in olive. And so I bought these used for me and I sent them out to auction. This was one of my two items I listed this past week and I put them on for $9.99 in auction and then I put a buy it now and I think you pay like I want to say somewhere between 10 and 20 cents for a buy it now and my auction was free because I have free auctions with my store and so I sent it out to auction and I got a few bids but somebody came along and bought them so the buy it now doesn't disappear on an auction until you hit 50% so my listing didn't go over that 50% and I think they were up to like 13 or 14 dollars with a few bids and so somebody came in and bought them and they paid $36.85. And because I just listed them, I mean, it happened all within probably hours. It, here they are. They're in really good shape. And the nice thing is because I walked around in them and I wear socks with my sandals just inside the house, but I always have socks on. You're not gonna be able to see, but socks, Birkenstocks, that's a pleasant look, isn't it? And like cropped old yoga pants. Um, I could tell because sometimes the cork splits if it's really old and dry. And because I walked around on these, I couldn't even tell you for how long, a little bit. I know that the cork isn't gonna split, so yay. So here's how I package these. Erica in Virginia paid $7.00 and 25 cents to ship them. So I'm going to get some bubble wrap. And I'm again going to ship these in a flat rate mailer. And I want to keep the shape of the shoe. So there's the first one. I need to go get more bubble wrap. That came out so nice. So pleased. Okay, so second one. Do the same thing, kind of roll it up. And I realize not everybody packages like that. So please never think I'm saying like, you should be packaging like this. This is just something I enjoy doing. I mean, it might be good to put bubble wrap in shoes, but wrapping paper and plastic bags, you get it. Okay, so here's what they look like. So these won't really squish down or create issues with the suede. We're pretty good there. So I'm going to put them in tissue paper before I slip them in the plastic bag. So I have rapid, wrapped, rapid, <laughs> rapid the second. <laughs> My brain. I have wrapped them separately. And that way the suede won't be rubbing on the other suede. I'm just gonna tie them so they stay. A little bow. I always try to make a bow instead of a knot. I know how annoying it is to have to go get scissors to cut open a package. So anytime I can cut my ribbon a little longer <laughs> and save somebody the trouble and that way you can just pull one side of the bow and it'll give, we are good. Okay, so here are the two shoes. I'm going to slip a business card under there. And I thought I had a Virginia, is there a Virginia something on the Monopoly board? Vermont, we have a lot of states here. Mediterranean. I color coded these instead of alphabetized, which was silly. Okay, so there's not. I'm going to give her the Reading Railroad. Just in. And now I'm going to put them in a clear plastic bag.
these are gonna fit in the package. I might have to ship these in a box, which if so is no big deal. I have received Birkenstocks in this pattern before, but I don't think they're gonna fit very well. I'm gonna move to a box. So I'm going to see what boxes make sense. So let's see. This is going to weigh, I'm gonna guess two pounds. These are pretty heavy. 1.4 ounces, one pound, four ounces. And so with the box, it will be two pounds. So for any box, if I just put them in whatever box I want, depending on what box I have, um, they're gonna cost $7.91. If I put them in a regional A box, they're going to cost $8.15. So I'm gonna get, move back and go with just a regular box, not a flat rate box, not a regional A box. And again, she paid $7.25, so I did lose a little bit here. Not a big deal with how much she paid, and I'd rather her be pleased with the packaging, honestly. I never want somebody to feel like I just squished their item in a box or a package. I have to get a box. So these boxes are also free on the USPS website. It just says mailing box, so it doesn't say flat rate or regional A box. And this is the shoe box. It's great for shoes. So because it's not flat rate, I'm charged per pound. So something that weighs like one pound, one ounce will ship at the same cost as something that weighs one pound, 15 ounce. Anything between the one and two pounds is going to ship for me in Florida to Erica in Virginia for about $8. I will tape this box more securely, but that'll hold it for now. Okay. So I'm gonna put a little bit of padding on the bottom. And I think I'm gonna wrap these shoes separately. I think they'll just fit better in separate bags. So this was a 15 by 12 plastic bag, and I'm gonna go down the size to a 10 by 13 plastic bag. I'm gonna leave a little bit of air in the bag. Again, just to protect them. And the reason I went down a size is just for cost. You would think I would just be like throwing money at packaging, but I do try to save a few pennies here and there when I can. Awesome. A little bit of bubble wrap on top. We are good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and purchase the postage and tape these up. We are all taped up, secure. I'm gonna wait a second time just to make sure we're still under that two pound mark. And we are, it's one pound, 10.3 ounces. So again, anything between one and two pounds ships at the same rate. So I don't even have to put that down in anything. You just have to choose one to two pounds. And today was new tape day. When I was in college, somebody made a big deal about it being new soap day. I mean, you're in college, so you don't like <laughs> go shopping. I didn't go shopping all the time. So anytime you got something new, it'd be pretty amazing. So new soap day, somebody said. So like anytime I have new ribbons or new tape. I'm like, something new. It's new tape day. Did I stick that? I stuck that on there. <laughs> Thank you so much, Erica. Okay, moving on. We have, let's do the books next. So my husband and I found a lot of books on the side of the road weeks ago. I'm going to say maybe even a month ago. And some of them have sold. And surprisingly to me, devotionals didn't sell first, study guides didn't sell first, cookbooks didn't sell first, the instrument. I mean, these are like, they come with a CD. I don't know how these all sold first. I sold a lot of 
violin viola books and I sold a lot of trumpet books and then this is the third lot to sell now I did some sell some other books here and there but right so they paid $4.99 for these again not a huge sale but they were so easy to list I mean I just like took a picture of them together listed them I'm sure I used more than one picture I'm pretty diligent when it comes to over photographing I did I used four photos I took a picture of both of these I flipped to the inside of one I flipped to the inside of the other and I took a picture of the CD so I mean and the description was no measurements so good books are so easy okay so five dollars and they paid three dollars and seventeen cents to ship so I'm gonna slip these books into a plastic bag and I know for people that sell on Amazon, you have to ship with a bag that has the warning on it, like the suffocation warning, I think it's called. But for eBay, you don't have to do that. You don't actually even have to ship in a plastic bag. I just prefer to do that. So I'm going to put this in a poly mailer. And I'm going to use the 12 by 15 poly mailer. Oh, but first I'm going to package these correctly so these are going to Allen in Louisiana I keep looking for different kinds of ribbon at the bins but it's let me down so we're just going with curling ribbon I used to have all these amazing like vintage printed and satin ribbons I was so excited but now I have good tissue paper, so it doesn't matter. I'd rather have the tissue paper. Okay, so I'm shipping these Media Mail. So if you've never heard of Media Mail, it's for books, mostly. Uh, I think the books have to be over a certain amount of pages, and I want to say about eight pages, but don't quote me on that. And some teaching materials, brochures, possibly under teaching materials, there's a whole bunch of stuff, CDs, DVDs, but certain ones. I don't know if it's like blanket cover any CD. So uh, you might want to look that up. So there's priority mail, which is like the fastest, but honestly, first class mail, which would be the next in line, is cheaper and usually gets there about the same amount of time. So priority mail, first class mail, and media mail. Those are the three I use on eBay. I don't really ship all through the post office. I don't really ship UPS or FedEx. Some people do, and those people usually have bigger and heavier items. For something like this, the post office is cheap, cheaper. Cheap, cheaper, <laughs> cheapier. Um, so I'm gonna ship media mail because these are books and they are teaching materials. We are good to go. So media mail also has tracking. All three have tracking, all three um, are sent the tracking through eBay so I don't have to upload tracking or write anything or email the buyer eBay system automatically does that but for all three they do have tracking so it's not like you lose out in tracking with media mail it's just it might take a little bit longer but Alan knew that going into that I selected media mail when I typed it up and listed it so he knows he's paying less for a little bit of a slower ser service so I am going to now slip this into a poly mailer. I'm gonna weigh it. We are at 14 ounces exactly. So I am going to put 14 ounces. and calculate and I am at two dollars and sixty six cents so Alan paid three seventeen my cost was two dollars and sixty six cents so the reason for the cost differential there is not any kind of discount you don't get a discount for media mail you get a discount for pri priority mail and first-class mail no eBay shipping discount 
on media now. So I actually thought this was going to be at like the one to two pound rate. So that's why it was supposed to be $3.17. And if this would have been anything between the one pound and two pound rate, it would have been a little bit costlier. But because it's under the one pound rate, um, it's $2.66. I thought seven items weren't even gonna make a video. Here I am like 40 minutes into the video and I still have two items to package. Very chit chatty. Okay, print. Thanks, Dymo. And Ellen, I hope these help you or possibly a son or daughter learn the guitar. You're gonna be great. Next is a necklace. I bought this for 50 cents. One of my local and my favorite thrift store. It's a local, um, non-affiliated, like it's just one place that supports hospital programs and some underprivileged programs of our community. Community, that's what I was looking for. It's a community thrift shop. Um, they occasionally have where like, all blue tags are 50 cents and it doesn't matter if you find a piece of furniture a giant piece of furniture with blue tag and I have found furniture and sold it locally or a piece of jewelry or clothing or home goods 50 cents so sometimes they just do like 50% off their whole store which was yesterday and I didn't get to but it's no big deal and so very noisy there and so this piece was one of the 50 cent pieces Let's see so it's a triple tier necklace and it's made by Robert Rose there's like a little dangle imprinted with a name so I was able to look it up you're not gonna be able to see it I'll insert a photo so I don't have a jewelry box. I did think about buying one at Dollar Tree earlier today, but you only got two boxes for a dollar. So it would have been 50 cents. So I feel okay with just wrapping this in a pretty tissue paper. So I'm gonna lay this down as untangled as possible. So it's basically in here and then I'm going to fold this. Okay. And that way it won't get super tangled. It's not a necklace that would get tangled to the point where it would be impossible to get out. Um, but I do want to make the best presentation I can. Okay, so Robert. The designer of this necklace bought this necklace. What? <laughs> That's crazy, right? I'm zillowing this. Okay, so here it is on Zillow. I'm not gonna say the address, of course. I'm going to assume this is the designer. They live in California. <laughs> okay, Robert. Now I feel like I need to do something amazing with your packaging and you're just getting my normal packaging. Okay. That's really freaky. I have sold to two famous people before, one designer and then somebody in um, Washington, D.C. And I recognized both names. The designer was very well named. Actually, I mean, it was the designer. It was very much the designer. They lived in New York and I was able to see their home and it was multi-millions of dollars, if not more. 
Um, so I have sold to that person, and then I sold, this was years and years ago, uh, the designer wasn't, that was just within the last few months. And then the famous person um, in Washington, D.C. was years and years ago, and I recognized the name. I, I shouldn't say the station. They weren't president or vice president. We'll leave it at that. Um, but they were up there. And it was a suit, I think. And then I have sold to a Ralph Lauren location. It was like, I think they had like a museum type location on the second floor. It was like the Ralph Lauren Media something in New York City. Um, <laughs> it's freaking me out here. Okay, I don't think any of these are just going to say California because that would be pretty cool. He is getting... Should I do the like waterworks? I'm gonna leave a little thank you. Thank you, designer, for designing this necklace and allowing me to make money. Okay, so how much did this necklace sell? What? Let's move on. The necklace sold for six dollars and ninety-nine cents, and it's probably been a few weeks since I listed it, but it went fairly quickly. And again, it wasn't anything hard to list. If it's going to need cleaned and steamed and measured and, you know, 12 photos, it might not be worth, you know, the couple of dollars, but for something like this, so easy. Okay, need a poly mailer. <laughs> We're going to get there. We're going to get over this happening. And... Okay, so I'm slipping the whole thing into a poly mailer and weighing this. And this is also going first class mail. Robert paid three dollars and this weighs nothing this weighs two two ounces I must said two pounds so for two ounces to Robert in California for me is two dollars and sixty six cents and he paid three dollars so I'm gonna go ahead and purchase that and move on how cool though right wonder if he has one of every design he did that'd be amazing that might also be impossible if he's very famous. I don't know that he is. If he sold on QVC, I'm assuming he would have had multiple designs. Thanks, Robert. Thanks for helping me make money. Let me not rip. Ah, oh, this is a good learning moment. I ripped the label. So when I put it on, I didn't put it on flat. And so what happened, it kind of like made it a bubble that I tried to rip off. So anytime you do that or it doesn't print or anything, you just have to go back to the My eBay page and on the left hand side under sell, like the seventh or eighth option is shipping labels. So I click on shipping labels. It brings up all the shipping labels I did today and the last one was to Robert. And there is a button right there that says reprint. So I'm reprinting. And it's that easy. I got my I got my second label. Let's see if I can not screw this one up. Much better. Thanks, Robert. Okay, let's close Zillow. And my last item is a good item. It was probably my definitely my best sale of the weekend. I think this week, let me think about it. One, two, three, four, times four, 16. I think I sold about 20 items this week, which is still not bad. I did nothing on eBay. I listed two items. I already had photos of them on my phone. I listed them for bed. Both of them didn't require measurements. One was a vintage pillowcase set made of acetate, acetate, I never know how to pronounce that word. Horrible material for pillowcases. <laughs> My husband asked if they were plastic. I was like, do you want these? Because they were king size and they were like a powder blue color. He's like, no. <laughs> Poor guy. Um, but they're supposed to be really good for hair and the packaging is from like the 50s. So really cool. And the other was the pair of Birkenstocks from my own closet. So past that and shipping, I would ship, you know, every morning, but most times I would only have a few and it would take me a lot less than it's taking me tonight because I'm filming and 
dawdling, doodling, what do we say? Let's don't dawdle. Is that the thing? Okay, what's the last thing I had to ship? I'm moving on now. Moving on, moving on. Oh, it's a quilt. My husband and I went to the bins, as you know, a few weeks ago. We found this. Linens are 99 cents. They do charge $1.99 for clothing and 99 cents for linens. That's per pound. And then everything else is like 50 cents, dollar, or whatever they want to charge you. So I paid, let's weigh this. Because there's no way this weighs more than a pound. This weighs 13.5 ounces, so definitely under a dollar. Let's say 80 cents I paid for this, and I listed it for 49.99. It's like a baby quilt or a wall hanging. And I put a best offer. I have best offer on almost all of my items, and I'm gonna say like, it might be less than 50%. Let's go with 40%. It might be more than 50% of people buy the item without a best offer and that's what Margot did. Margot is a teacher in elementary school and I'm sure she's decorating her classroom which is so fun because I follow a lot of teachers on YouTube who decorate their classrooms and share lesson plans and their curriculum. I went to college to become a teacher so um, my brain still loves hearing that stuff. Here it is. It is hand done. It's gorgeous. It has no labels on it, unfortunately, but it is all hand pieced together. I'm sure it was machine stitched. It does look like machine stitching, but she's got hanging in her classroom. Oh, so fun. And then the back is like just a, a solid piece of material. Love it so much. So Margot asked me, she paid Friday afternoon, evening. So Margot asked me to make sure I would send it so she would be there. So I wanted to make sure she gets it this week. School's here. The teachers have to go back August 6th and then students go back August 13th, which I know is a lot earlier than what I was used to in New York growing up. Okay. So because she paid $50, and I know she's a teacher, and I'm sure she's spending her own money, I wanted to do something special. And when we went to the Dollar Tree today, I picked up some pencils. So let me go get those. Here they are. So there's like a purple hologram. That's not what that is, I don't know. Pink glitter, and then there's a whole bunch of like forest, woodlands, camping theme ones and then some blue ones and I bought two packs and I'm going to put those right on top because I am sure she's an amazing teacher because she bought this for her classroom sorry I didn't mean to bang into you there and so I'm sure she's buying other supplies and kids lose pencils quite often in elementary school according to the youtubers I follow and so I thought she would enjoy this. Okay. So before I slip it into the bag, I'm going to tie it with ribbon, which I realize is out of order from what I normally do. I never even thought to add, I mean, this is possibly a good tip. This is something that might not have sold all year round and it just happened to be listed at the right time for the color you know teachers usually have like color themes maybe you don't know <laughs> if you don't follow teachers which is no big thing um some do i follow some that do all neon colors and some that do like black and white and then change the pop of color every year but all of their main supplies are black and white and some teachers do well everybody does something different so you might want to put if something could be used in a classroom you might want to add that to a listing at this point this would be such an amazing thing in a classroom okay all right thank you and a business card and i'm going to wrap it in tissue paper
and I looked up this elementary school just curious of where it was in Pennsylvania because my husband and I lived in Pennsylvania for so long and then we worked in three different parts of Pennsylvania um, just depending on the retirement community in the year and this is a very northern part of Pennsylvania that I have never been to. Living in Pennsylvania and trying to find like thrift stores and driving around and being at different retirement communities allowed us to see a good bit of Pennsylvania, but I don't ever think I got that far north. So Margo paid $7 and how awesome is the name Margo? I'm sure that's not being used a whole lot, but I hope somebody brings that back for a baby name. So good. Okay, so I'm gonna ship it in a flat rate mailer. I think it'll fit really well. And so the cost, my cost will be $6.90. No problem, right in. And this should get to her, I'm gonna guess, it'll say on the shipping label whether it's gonna take two or three days. And I'm gonna guess, oh, this is a tough one. I don't know what I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess two days. I think California says three days, what does this say? Wyoming takes three days. It says like priority, it says it, I'm not gonna show you, but it says priority mail three day. I don't think the first class say it. The first class don't say it, but the priority packages all say whether well, it's supposed to take two or three days. But I don't know from Florida to Pennsylvania what this is going to say. And this is my last package, which is good because it's eight o'clock at night. Check on everything. I have automatic feedback checked in my store and it's not happened yet. So um, I just leave feedback every day. But thank you, Margo. I am sure your students are going to be so blessed to have you as a teacher and I hope your school year goes amazingly well. So let's check. Everybody that purchased something paid. <laughs> so that was awesome. Yeah, everything, everything is done. So my husband and I are probably going to watch TV. It's usually what we do at night. And I rub his head. He like lays on my lap and I rub his head. Um, and then tomorrow is Monday and my mom and sister are coming by. They leave Wednesday. They've been here for a solid week now and we've had a lot of fun. And I think we might go to the beach in the morning. It just depends on the weather, but the weather's been amazing. So I'm so thankful for that. It's been a little like cloudy once in a while, but it was cloudy on the day they went shopping and it's been really great. So we'll probably go to the beach and then we'll come back and my mom and sister will probably shower and get ready and, and come over and my husband will take my car and they'll join me here because they're staying on the island, which is a about eight miles away from us, the condo they're staying at. Um, it's a little bit shorter at the beach, but they're staying a little further away. And we'll film a YouTube video, our one yearly YouTube video, <laughs> where my mom joins me. And I think we've talked my sister into joining me. She's awesome, but she doesn't thrift. She landscapes and uh, she has her own business, so that's awesome. She lived in Colorado for a while, and now she's back to Pennsylvania. And they are moving her story, so I'm not gonna get into it, but they are moving on Saturday, and they got their house, and they wanted this house, and they got another house, and they were holding out hope for this house, and they got this house, and it's amazing. It's this vintage, I'm gonna say 1950s home, with original brick and this gorgeous sunroom sunroom is so good um, so anyway and uh, she'll be back with her daughter and her daughter passed her grade with flying colors and her daughter will now be my niece will be in now fourth grade which is crazy to me because looking back she was so tiny and now she just seems like a teenager <laughs> it's blowing my mind so that's Monday and then Tuesday Tuesday is the day I get my lidocaine injection. So, 
feel free to stop here. But if you don't know, I have CRPS. It is a disease. It's on the rare disease list. So I put it in quotes for me. If you have CRPS, please know I truly believe what you're experiencing is real and I'm not trying to minimize the disease. It's just in my own head, I have come so far. I'm not in a wheelchair anymore. I'm able to use the toilet when I want to and shower when I want to and the medical board approved my driver's license for another year. So all of this amazing stuff has happened to me in the last year and a half. And I'm moving and I'm eating and I'm doing all the things. Not all the things, and I'm on a lot of medication, but I'm doing really well. So my CRPS has been, it hasn't spread. Um, I'm not gonna give you a full health update here, but because honestly I do YouTube and it's eBay and it's not health channel, uh, not a health channel, but it didn't, it spread so many times and it's in all four limbs, but it has not ever spread to my midsection or above my neck which is awesome because there for a while we were worried it was in my jaw and in my teeth and we've got that under control. So in January, I started experiencing some like pretty decent pain, <laughs> decent enough to where I was in the emergency room for six and a half hours before seeing me and um, it was worth the wait. I was just, the pain was really bad. I couldn't sit down. It was just really bad. They sent me home with a follow-up to a gastroenterologist who I went to probably the next week. And they said it was a pulled muscle. No big deal. So the pain never really went away. But it wasn't like, compared to CRPS, it was nothing. So I kind of just like kept going. Like, oh, I'm just going to live with this lumpy pain now. And in May, the pain got really bad again. I started shaking uncontrollably. I couldn't stop. Um, my heart rate was tachycardic. I don't know, it was really high compared to what my normal heart rate, it was, it was more than double. So um, my blood pressure was really high. I had a fever, all of these things. My husband got me to the ER. It wasn't even like, should we go to the ER? It was just, I was shaking. I've never experienced that. I think it's like rigors or something they said, where you shake so uncontrollably, you can't stop. So weird, that's the reason I went to the hospital. I mean, I had really bad pain, but, so um, they admitted me, I was in the hospital for four days. They screwed up two tests. I was sent to a different hospital, took the test, my gallbladder needed out, got my gallbladder out healed from that amazingly well. It was a little shady there for like a week, week and a half, but honestly that was my fault for not realizing it was gonna take more than a couple days to really get through it and I pushed myself too hard too early on and I probably made it worse. So the pain is still here. I know the gallbladder needed out. I'm not regretting that decision. My gallbladder was infected and distended and some other word and something with my lymph node had to it's fairly common so they took the gallbladder out i'm still having a very specific pain that's worsened by sitting which is why i have pain pills in me i'm so thankful for them but i do hope to be off of them here and um bending is really bad and anything after eating now two foods i can eat pain free you don't care, are bananas and cantaloupe. But I have been eating things like cherries, which causes pain, and potatoes, and I tried pasta. I'm, I'm very much a very lazy person when it comes to food, and I'd rather just have two bananas than like make a real meal. Like people that eat, oh, I think Jason is here. I think he sees me. We have a neighbor friend, Jason who so badly wants to vlog. I'm like hiding right now. He came over about a week and a half ago, he's gonna see me. And he had me teach him vlogging and it was the cutest thing ever. Okay, so uh, Jason and his mom did stuff by, they were walking on the way back from the pool. <laughs> so Jason is a six year old that lives in our community. Out of the 76 homes in our community, 
I believe he's the only child here. And when I say that, I, I mean like there's no teenagers, there's no, it's incredible. It, it seems like an over 55 community, but it's not. So Jason has taken a liking to bear and now to vlogging. He's so cute, he's so cute. Oh my goodness, little blonde hair boy with big brown eyes. Um, and he lives with his mom here. <laughs> he's so dramatic. So he came by the other day when my mom and sister were here and I was napping. I was not feeling well. It was like 8 o'clock at night and he asked Bear if he could vlog. And he's like, oh, I'm sorry, buddy. Melissa's laying down. So he sees me vlogging. I have a ring light. I'm like right here in our dining room, uh, our office area that overlooks our front. He saw me vlogging. So he's like, oh, I haven't vlogged in so long. He's like being all dramatic and cute and six. And I was like, well, my mom and sister are here till Wednesday. Do you want to hang out Thursday or Friday? And Leah is right there. I mean, Leah and Jason, Leah is the mom's name. And they know us well. And Jason comes over once in a while, if not once a week, <laughs> and kind of just helps bear with whatever he's doing outside or just hangs out in the hammock. Um, so anyway, I asked him if he wanted to come over Thursday. So he's like, do I have off, mom? And He's in summer camp until he gets back to school. And so she's like, no, but maybe Thursday evening. He's like, how long is Thursday? He's being all dramatic about it. So I'm not gonna put him on the internet, but I let him walk around. It's the cutest thing. Maybe I'll use some of his audio. That'll be a fun idea. You'll get to at least hear how adorable he is. Okay, so Tuesday. Tuesday, um, last week, I went for a follow-up after the gallbladder to the gastroenterologist. That's not how you pronounce it, gastroenterologist. I had already been for a follow-up to my family doctor and my gallbladder surgeon who have called each other on the phone to talk about me, which boggles my mind. They're so nice because they both know I have CRPS. Um, my CRPS doctor is the one who like handles my medications and I see on a regular basis and then my family doctor kind of follows up with some of that but they thought the next step would be a scope so they wanted me to go to the gastroenterologist again which I saw last week on Monday and this guy thinks I have it's called like nerve entrapment syndrome so basically all it is is a nerve that gets stuck in a muscle and so if you bend or if you sit that's just going to or eat because eating expands your stomach it's going to put pressure on that nerve so he would like to do a lidocaine injection into the nerve they use an ultrasound to find the nerve and then inject lidocaine which is supposed to numb the area and we'll know right away because even with very strong pain pills I feel it I just it's it's always there um, it's waking me up still at night not a huge deal so he would have done it that day <laughs> and I was like hmm I need to prepare myself a little bit for that but they didn't have lidocaine in the office his words, not mine. They deal with the elderly and they mostly deal with like bowel problems and bladder issues and some other stuff. So because they don't see somebody so young, I'm 38, I don't really consider myself so young, but it's all relative, I realize. Um, he doesn't keep lidocaine because it expires within a month. This is everything he told me. I don't have all of this wisdom in my head. So he had to order the lidocaine. It was supposed to take two weeks. The nurse wanted to be back the next day. She spoke to the receptionist. They're like, we're gonna get you as soon as possible. I'm like, I think you guys have to order lidocaine. So she's like, no, I'm just getting you in as soon as possible. So the next soon as possible date was this week. So it would have been like a week. So I'm gonna call tomorrow and make sure they got in the lidocaine because I am not going to another doctor's appointment. I see so many doctors, which is awesome because I'm doing so well but I'm not hanging out in a doctor's office just for fun if they don't have lidocaine. So that's the next step. Because he so, with everything he has, I forget the word, believes in that it's this nerve entrapment thing because he did this test, I think it's called Carhartt's something test. It's the super easy test. It requires laying down and doing a crunch. That's the whole test. He puts a finger on the area that hurts, which is like this big, 
and he makes you do a crunch and sure enough the pain was just like so bad that I'm just starting to tear up at the doctors not now it's not so bad now and so he's like okay you have something something nerve entrapment syndrome and I was like okay never heard of that I'm not a doctor so he explained it and I was sitting down at the time and I was like can you do the test right uh, one more time <laughs> so I made him do the test again and sure enough it did it again I just didn't want it to be a fluke thing because you know <laughs> Doctors have so much knowledge and go to school for so long that they can't, I mean, it's just amazing the knowledge they have in their head, right? And they have to know everything about everything for every patient. So, you know, I've had a CT to, to have my nerve, not my nerve, my rib checked for cracks. I didn't have a crack in my rib. I've had, you know, all of the things to check for all of the things. So I just wanted to make sure it wasn't a fluke thing that he did that. Totally not. So getting a lot of can injection is an easy thing in the doctor's office in and out it's going to hurt i'm very prepared for it to hurt i'm fine with it hurting short term i just really wanted to prepare more <laughs> but i would have had it that day if he had it so no scope for now this is the next step we will know two-thirds of people with this nerve entrapment thing get relief immediately i'm just having hope that i'm in that two-thirds if it i am I just need lidocaine injections occasionally like two months maybe go by and then I might need another one and then it's longer until you've just killed off that nerve I have such issues my CRPS deals with my nervous system and with my nerves that that makes so much sense and I don't think my CRPS is spreading I don't think it's anything like that I think a nerve just got stuck in a muscle if this is what this is and I've read about it, of course, um, because Google, and it does sound like I have all of the, the symptoms. You know, all I could tell you is I have pain under my right rib, and my, it was exactly where my gallbladder is, and I'm glad I had my gallbladder out because who knows what kind of issues that would have caused. So all of that to say, I might be going back to the doctor's Tuesday. I have an appointment, but I'm gonna call and make sure they got in the lidocaine. And I think that's it. So my husband and I are off to watch television and I hope you have a wonderful day and you're selling well. And if you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. Bye. Hello guys. Today we are going to make a video with Melissa and Jason. That's me. So we're going to make a video about what are we going to make this video about? What we do every day. Yeah. Tell them what kind of stuff you do on summer vacation now that you have off of school. We go on trips and we go to my grandma's house. We're going to go crazy. Actually, we're not. Subscribe in three, two, one. Make sure you subscribe. I love it. I know. Your day is blooming with joy.